Unfortunately, it is. We're seeing very dry humidity values as well as strong winds, but we are taking a look right now of satellite images looking over California from the fire. So you can see the campfire burning all that smoke that's making its way into the ocean and the fires that are burning in Southern California. You can see exactly what the strong winds are doing to all of that smoke, but this dry air mass is basically parked over Central California, so that's bringing very low humidity values. We're at 33% here in Bakersfield, but look at this up in the Kern River Valley, 4% humidity in Kernville and in the single digits in our desert cities. So that mixed with these strong winds that we are seeing. That is what is bringing that critical fire danger, especially to the mountains here in Kern County. But wind speeds are going to be calming down as we head into the overnight hours tomorrow. So the fire weather warning that we have been tracking will be ending at 10 p.m. But behind this system is going to be much cooler temperatures. There is now a hard freeze warning in effect for the Kern County desert starting at 2 a.m. tomorrow, continuing until 9 a.m. Lows are going to be anywhere from 22 to 27 degrees in our desert city. So just make sure that you are keeping that in mind as we head into your weekend. But we are going to have another day of moderate air quality tomorrow with an AQI of 70. But now there are no restrictions, but burning is still discouraged. As for temperatures, well, this weekend not going to be too bad above seasonal with a high of 72 degrees on Saturday up to 73 on Sunday for Veterans Day. But we are tracking another dry system that's going to be making its way through bringing breezy conditions. The winds will not be as strong as what we were seeing yesterday. Lows are still going to be in the 40s though overnight tonight. Bakersfield will have a low of 41 degrees and then you can see clouds rolling in on Tuesday and it 